So if you're tired of drawing lines and want to compare some swings, XView has some pretty neat features with the AI guides. So I have two videos that are different swings with different characteristics, and I'm going to use the AI guide. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to press the AI guide, and I'm going to push uh, the head circle, the spine, and then the wall line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to click the top video, and you can see the little yellow box on the top, a rectangle change, so you know that you're using a different video and using the top one. Now I'm going to hit the AI guide again, and I'm going to hit the same three, the circle on the head, the spine, and then the wall line, okay? And then we're going to go a step further, and we're going to hit the contour button, and you can see it turns the, the outline of my body blue, but what we're going to do is we're going to hit the little running guy on the bottom, which is the moving contour, and then we're going to do the same thing on the bottom, we hit the contour button, and hit the moving contour, and... What I wanted you to see here is, and we're going to take it even a step further, so you can see how to use all these things together. And then I'm going to hit the skeleton button, and then hit the skeleton button. So now it's, we've got a lot of these features running at the same time. And you can see it's a little bit difficult to see them when you have, like I'm on the golf course doing these videos. You can see it's a little difficult with all the distractions in the background. So let's eliminate those, and we're going to hit the little eyeball on the top, go into dark mode, and then we're going to click the bottom one and hit the eyeball. Okay, and now the distractions are gone, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sync those up, and I'm going to let these play through here. I think I had them synced already. Sorry. Here we go. So we're going to sync those up, and you can see the movement and the spine. So if I want to pause it at the top, you can see um, with the skeleton, if the spine angle changed, everything changed. So if you want to see, it's hard to tell. You could just zoom in and see the difference in the angle of the starting point, like that. And then you could zoom out. Okay, and then I'll continue to play. And then we'll try to stop as close to impact as possible. Right about here, we'll go back a little bit here. Okay, and then we could zoom in again. And zoom in again. And if we want to get really detailed, what we could do is we could actually click the spine of the skeleton click the spine of the skeleton, and we can see the difference in the angle. So you can see the bottom one. I'm a little bit more um, with my sternum down at the ground, and on the top one, I'm a little bit more raised out of it, which makes sense because the top one, I'm casting the club a little bit more. And again, if I want to continue to let this play through, I could just keep letting it go, and you can start to see the differences here, and I'll zoom out so you can see those. Again, spine angle pretty similar, but again, cool features that you can use to really show students the difference between swings and um, makes it very easy by just clicking buttons and not have to draw all these lines.